Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. Going to be doing a check-in for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Going to tap into the energies that are surrounding you at this time. See what message your guides and angels have for you. So if you're a cross-watcher for Leo, please remember flip switch the energies and roles. Don't force any messages. Only take that which resonates to your situation. If it doesn't resonate, don't force that. Check out other placements or connect with me through email for a personal reading. So transformations in the reverse. It says reach out for the power and strength to make changes, enrich your life, become the person you want to be. So struggling to break a cycle with something that is attached to you. Struggling to break free of something. But your angels and guides are, are giving you downloads. You are protected. It's, it's as there are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. Right? Transition and transformation. So you're not quite where you want to be, but you're not where you were. There are definitely lessons being learned here with that owl and you are being protected. There is spiritual guidance here, it says, and you are in this period of transition. So be gentle with yourself because ultimately you are making decisions, but you're learning from these decisions, right? And that will facilitate this transformation that you are in. It says, reach out for the power and strength to make changes, enrich your life and become the person you want to be. Possibly you're, you're struggling to see the value and the worth that you have, right? Possibly you need to reach out. Possibly you're spiraling and not seeing your value and your worth at this time. So this is a very important message from your angels and your guides. You are being protected. You are having success. You are moving forward. Even though it may not be obvious all the time, there is change. There is transformation within this transition. You are moving forward is what I feel. The number 32 or 23 may be significant. Please give me more energy for the Leo collective in regards to that which surrounds them at this time. Please give more energy. So regeneration. So it's definitely validating that you've been through a cycle that's been difficult, right? And now you're needing to rest. So there's validation. You could be dealing with a Scorpio with this regeneration because ultimately that's the death energy and it's time for a nap. So things are not all lost, right? You've definitely been through it is what I feel with this regeneration and transformation. You've been struggling, but you're doing the work. It hasn't been easy, and you are being intuitively guided and protected. Your angels and guides want you to take a rest. That you've been through it. That you've had a lot of struggles in this cycle that you're working towards at this time. Right? It's not quite over. So your cycle isn't complete. You're not quite at the end of a cycle. So it's time for you to rest is what your angels and guides are wanting you to know at this time. So I'm going to dive a little deeper with tarot. So I call upon Leo's spirit guides and angels to protect their energy, show a clear message for their greatest and highest good. Clarify this message. I call upon my angels and guides also to protect my energy and vibration. What does Leo need to know in regards to this cycle that they are in currently? Please clarify this message for the Leo collective. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising signs. The first card will be the anchor message. What does Leo need to know in regards to this energy? Two of swords. So there's a lot of back and forth internally within your mind. You are constantly back and forth. You're overthinking a situation. There's something that is causing you a lot of strife and stress. There's a back and forth energy with the two of swords. Two of swords is Libra energy, bottom of the deck. Seven of swords in the reverse. So whatever it is that you have been spending a lot of time uh, thinking about is stealing something from you. Someone has stolen something from you. And the longer that you stay in that energy, the longer this person or the situation is going to steal from you. So your angels and your guides are telling you to rest at this time because the situation is taking too much from you. Your guides and your angels are telling you to continue to move forward with your heart open. So it's all about changing your perspective. So there's validation that somebody has stolen something from you. And from what I can see, they're taking a lot of your time. They're taking a lot of your energy. But this will be, you will have victory over this situation and this expenditure of 
energy because there is Ace of Cups. There is a new opportunity to have enlightenment. There's new opportunity to grow and expand. But your angels and guides are validating that you're spending a lot of time overthinking a situation or a cycle that you've yet to conclude, right? There is an energy of you coming out of this place of lack, but you do need to change your perspective. So your guides and your angels are wanting you to end something, to face your fear and move forward towards a new beginning, a new beginning of love. So there is something that you have been connected to, a cycle that you've been working towards that's been very difficult. And ultimately you are having to stop overthinking the situation because things haven't worked out quite the way that you were hoping that they would, right? You could have been dealing with a Scorpio. I'm getting Four of Swords energy as well. You need to take a rest. Four of Swords is Libra energy as well. So the Two of Swords is the anchor is saying that you're spending a lot of time overthinking about the situation. Your guides and your angels are wanting you to shift your focus. Time to take a rest. It's time to love yourself. It's time to put the energy inward and stop overthinking the situation is the message that I'm getting. What is the challenge? that Leo is facing in regards to this transformation, in regards to this transition. What is the challenge facing, excuse me, Leo? So we've got three of pentacles. That's coming out of a contract. So you are closing a contract or releasing someone that you were in a commitment with or contracted with. So whether that was in a, a love situation, whether that was in a work situation, there, this has been painful. This has been ongoing, right? This has caused you a lot of internal reflection, a lot of back and forth energy about releasing, breaking contract with this individual. There was a lot of love here. You had a lot of love for this person, but this person didn't reciprocate that. You were dealing with someone that is not emotionally mature. Someone took their heart. This is someone that you could have been married to, someone you could have been in a very serious relationship with. But you were dealing with someone that possibly put you in third parties because Three of Pentacles can reference that as well, right? And, and then Queen of Cups, someone took their heart away from you. And this person is not on the same vibration or maturity of, of emotions. This is someone that plays games with emotions. This is someone that you thought was going to be your soulmate. So there's a lot of back and forth. Right, this person, this situation, this cycle is holding you back, right? And you're not quite through it, but you're in the process of getting through it. And your guides and your angels are telling you it's time to rest, right? It's time for you to take a step back. It's time for you to take a break, Leo, because this has been very difficult. That's what I feel. You could be dealing with a water sign, right? We've got Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups that represents Cancer. Page of Cups is Pisces and then Two of Cups is Cancer again. So I do feel whoever you are releasing or, or overthinking, whoever this person is that you're thinking about is someone that you had a lot of love for, someone that you had a lot of feelings and emotions for. So the challenge now is letting this person go when you feel very unsettled, right? You're in this period of transition and you're spending a lot of time overthinking and your guides and your angels are telling you it's time to take a rest Show me the energy of recent past, seven of wands, right? You had to defend yourself. You had to set boundaries with someone because they took their heart away. They were being very um, impatient with you. This is someone that broke your heart, right? This is someone that didn't give you an opportunity, didn't even give you a choice. And now you feel so very stuck. This person has left you behind and now you feel like you are stuck in this prison and not sure where to move, What? not sure what... Um, what direction to take there's a lot of back and forth so you're feeling really stuck at this time because someone's taken their energy back someone's taken their love back right and you are now put in this place of transition you're not sure which direction to take is what i feel but you are setting boundaries your angels and your guides are telling you it's time to take some take a break it's time to rest this transformation will ultimately lead you to a new cycle, this transition. But in this moment, you need to take a break is what I feel. We've got four of wands at the bottom of the deck on the seven of wands. Someone is definitely taking their energy back. Someone is collapsing a home. Someone is taking their, um, taking a different route, right? Leaving you behind is what I feel. And right now you're in this energy. We got four, four, four. So the number four, four, four angel number, you have to release somebody who's being very deceptive. Someone really betrayed you. And now you're feeling this energy of lack, like you weren't good enough. 
So your angels and your guides are, are seeing that you're in this energy of back and forth, back and forth about what didn't work. And you're definitely in this energy of pain at this time, but you need to just let that go. It's time for you to take a, take a break and just trust that all of this transition is happening for your greatest good. But it's definitely validating a lot of pain, right? Seven of Wands energy, that is Leo energy. Show me the energy of the person that's connecting to Leo. Show me this energy of this person that's breaking free. What? So this is someone, again, I've got Aries energy, could be dealing with the fire sign, right? This is someone that um, is dealing with new boundaries. This is someone that you feel that has trapped you. King of Wands, what's on the bottom of the deck? The moon. So you are dealing, so the moon is Pisces energy and the king of wands is Aries. So you are dealing with someone that is keeping secrets for sure. And that's a part of why you're struggling because you're trying to figure everything out. Because you know that this person would not leave you without having a, another option. So I do feel that this person has secrets. This person is operating from ego and there very well could be another person involved. Because we've got the king of wands in the feminine and the king of wands in the masculine. And the king of wands in the feminine is in the reverse. So this person is definitely keeping secrets and you have been very burdened in this cycle, but you, you need to take a break with that chariot. It's about taking the time to nap, take the time to rest, because this is a very difficult cycle that you are not quite through. You are being guided. You are receiving intuitive messages. Your guides and your angels want you to take a break. You've been spending too much time in your head in regards to something that you have no control of. This situation is making you feel like you are in jail. But ultimately, you are dealing with someone that is being deceptive, right? And that's part of your transition and your transformation. What is the outcome? Nine of Cups in the reverse. This is someone that's afraid to be alone. So your person is monkeying, right? Your person is leaving you behind but is attached to somebody else because you are dealing with someone that's codependent with that Nine of Cups. So the reason, so that's a lot of the reason that you're feeling a lot of pain is because this person just up and left you and moved on to somebody else and that's making you feel like you've done something wrong that's making you feel very stuck you're a lot of back and forth in your head but ultimately you will start filling your own cup i feel you gave so much to this person that you kind of lost yourself so there's validation here leo for codependency but you will see things clearly ultimately you need to take a break at this time your guys and your angels are really wanting to validate that you need some rest right? This person really hurt you. This person broke your heart, but there is consequences to the actions. And right now your angels and guides are wanting you to take a break because the cycle is not over. Things are not over. There are still secrets, but ultimately I do see you moving towards the light because the sun is happiness in this new season. So things are transforming things. You are in a period of transition where you are very much stuck in your head, but your angels and your guides are wanting you to continue to move towards the light. You are breaking free of a very codependent energy, and that is part of bigger picture. All right, so let me know if this resonates. If you have not done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. But I do feel this is the message for you today, Leo. Take care. Bye.